Welcome back to Packer Factor on Sifted.net. A special welcome to our Patreon patrons, to our YouTube subscribers. You're keeping the show alive. Appreciate it. Uh, the rest of you, even, even the patrons, please link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. It's easy to do. There are instructions in the show description. You just have to try. So please try because you're sticking it to Amazon. You have that subscription. You've already paid for it. Make them pay us. It's your money. They have it. Take it out of their pocket and give it to Shane, please. Okay, today's question from Sifted from Joachim Dragoon. Do you think VR is released too soon? Wow. <laughs> Does it still have a chance? Should it go away for a few years till the tech catches up with expectations? What's the future for the technology? What are some other gaming products you feel will release too soon? Boy, great questions. Uh, all of them great. Um, you know, Shane and I were just talking about how Shane thinks PlayStation 1, you know, kind of changing the game dynamic and making 3D games and making games for adults instead of kids was the most innovative thing ever. And I didn't agree with him, and I, I don't think that it's, I don't think it lacks innovation. I didn't agree with him about how cool it was because I said if Sony hadn't have done it, somebody else would have. Uh, Sega would have done it, Nintendo, uh, what was it called, N N64 did it. Um, it would have been fast followed by somebody else. And it's because the tech allowed it to happen. Sony did a great job of execution, and they took the tech and really exploited it well. And if you remember the old PS1, then PS2, then PS3, we showed the duck, the rubber ducky dropping on the water, and the water would be rippling, and you'd just be going, ooh, and ah, and then PS2, it was like more better ripples, and PS3, it was like a thousand ducks dropping, and they're all moving independently. That's the tech. And so the VR tech arrived, and whether it's Meta or Sony or, or Google, whatever it's called, it's the tech's there. And so is it too early? It is because it's not widely adopted. But, you know, I think the answer, um, the answer to your question is, you know, what other gaming products are released too soon? Uh, all of the, the early gaming consoles, the Atari 2600, which was really fun. But how many units did it sell? A couple million, right? Um, even like the NES might have been too soon. But you know what? They did it because the tech allowed it. And those games were pixelated, but we played them because they were cool, right? So, you know, Atari did it because they had Pong in the arcade and, and they had them in coffee tables in bars. Um, and they were able to put Pong in, a, in an arcade machine and Pong on an ast you know, Asteroids, an arcade machine, and then put that on a 2600. So all gaming products were too soon um, because they did them when they could. Like, what was that stupid uh, Microsoft Connect? You know, was it cool? Yes. But it was a solution in search of a problem. Like, they, it was really cool, but we just didn't need it. You know, but what did it have in it? Facial recognition. Guess what? My phone has that now. Like it's kind of cool, you know. But they were doing things and trying to put them in a gaming application before it's ready. So the answer is yes, absolutely. VR is too soon, but I think that releasing something soon without an audience is it encourages innovation because someone will figure out how to make it work. And so I gave this answer in an earlier uh, episode. It's like MySpace begat Facebook, Facebook begat Twitter, and, and, and maybe begat Snapchat, and begat TikTok, and they're all different. You know, Instagram and Facebook are very similar, but, but they're all different. And all this is is someone going, oh, this social media thing is cool, and people want to associate with one another, Twitter makes it more personal, like you actually have followers and you use your real name in most cases. Um, TikTok makes it where you post and it's fun and, and you can get, you go down the TikTok rabbit hole, you never get out of it. Um, you know, Snapchat is a text messaging system with photos, which is really cool. You know, but it takes innovation to iterate those things. VR is gonna be like that. Someone's gonna iterate, it's gonna get great. I don't know who's gonna do it because it didn't me. Um, and again, I talked about this in an earlier episode. Someone's going to figure all this stuff out. Game Pass, console gaming, streaming services, streaming anything. Uh, and it in us. They might be 10 years old now. And it might take 20 years before they figure it out. But it's going to happen. 
So I, I don't know the answer, but uh, gaming products released too soon. The Wii U, Kinect, uh, PSP, anything that's not around anymore was released too soon. Yeah, I think that the uh, Apple Vision Pro is a better solution because you can see through it. And so you don't get disoriented the same way. It's different. And I think Apple is iterating, experimenting, and it's you know, obviously 3500 bucks or whatever. So not everybody's going to buy it. But you do, If I've, I've used it. It's, it. it's not as disorienting. And I read some article about somebody wearing a VR headset is like blindfolding them. They're just not sure if they're about to walk off a cliff. And it makes them really unsure and it makes you really anxious. And that's why people get sick. And it's part of the reason. So, you know, I think that Vision Pro is an iteration that makes VR a little better. Will there be others? Yes. I don't know what they are. Will psychologists be involved? Yes. You know, will sociologists be involved? Yes. Somebody's going to figure it out. I just don't know what it's going to look like. But it will be VR. It just might have a bunch of other stuff loaded in. Saying you tried VR with and you got motion sickness, so you're never interested in trying it again, is like saying, I went to a movie theater 25 years ago, and I was uncomfortable because the seat was stiff, and I'll never go back again, and that was my wife. And then we went to go see, uh, I think, Mission Impossible, not the new one, the like one or two ago, so four or five years ago. And we went to a recliner theater, and she's like, when did they put these chairs in? And, you know, we were separated by... I don't know, two feet, we had big armrests and stuff, and we could fully recline, and there was plenty of room to put your popcorn and your drink, and it was quiet, and she, she's like, I love this. So if you get VR to address all the reasons that people don't like it, the drawbacks, the motion sickness, claustrophobia, sweating too much, whatever, then you just have to win customers over one at a time. And if people hear all those things aren't an issue anymore, then they'll try it. So I don't know. I, like I said, it's going to take some iteration and innovation. We'll see what happens. Thanks for joining us on Packer Factor on Sifted.net. Uh, appreciate your patronage from our Patreon fans and appreciate your subscription from our YouTube subscribers. Uh, all of those people, plus all the rest of you freeloaders, uh, please try to remember to link your Amazon Prime account to your Twitch Prime account. Since you're a freeloader, it's free. So you get this show for free and you get Amazon to pay us for free. Free is good, okay? And it's not really free because somebody's got to pay. If it's too good to be true, it's it's not true. It's too good to be true because Amazon's paying us and you're sticking it to them and it's free. So look up the word freeloader because that's you and it's free. I'm giving something free to a freeloader. That's a that's Nirvana. Thanks very much for joining us. We'll see you next time.